So I said, just feel. <coughs> the fence may now proceed. Good afternoon. <coughs> Good afternoon, uh, Justice Cuevas. Mm -hmm. may, <coughs> may, may be allowed to continue, Your Honor. Proceed. Right. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, in these uh, documents that were uh, given us, Your Honor, I noticed the number of the different accounts. But it is not indicated in the, the nature of the accounts. For instance, account number 8104. May we know the nature of that account? Is it, is it, a, is it a savings account, a current account, or time deposit, or what? It's not indicated, Your Honor. It is not indicated? Yes. All right. You are not in a position to tell us no. the nature of this account. No. Similarly, in other uh, accounts, account number 0933, account number 0364, account number 1867, account number 1476, account number 0704, you also will not be in a position to tell this honorable court the nature of these accounts. No, sir. All right. But is there, from your examination of the, ma of the papers and records submitted to you for your consideration, is there any of these accounts that is a current account? You also is. There's no indication here, Your Honor. So you will not be able to tell the yes, court. Yes, if it's a with, checking account or a yeah. savings account or a time deposit. No, but you will agree with me that in so far as a checking account is concerned, although you are, as you said, you are not trained in millions, but let's say small accounts, Your Honor. The deposit in that particular account is evidenced by a deposit slip. If you deposit... Current account, yes. Yes, whether in cash or in check. Correct, Your Honor. That is correct. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. And in withdrawals, there is also that withdrawal slip signed by the depositor. If you withdraw it, uh, you withdraw cash, Yes. then it's covered by a withdrawal slip. Correct. If, you, if so the withdrawal is via check, then you have the check. That is proof that that amount was debited from the current account. Correct. And if it is a plain savings account or ordinary account, mm -hmm. it is covered or the deposit is covered by a bank book supplied by the bank. Di na uso ngayon ang bank book, uh, Justice Cuevas? Yes, but I'm not asking you about the uso. Mm -hmm. it, it is still practice. No. Not all banks issue passbooks. Well, I accident, but if there is a passbook, the passbook must be presented for purposes of deposit and withdrawal. But if you have a, uh, a card where you can use it as cash when you purchase something, you just pin your number, and that's already debited from your account. I am not going that far, Madam mm. Ombudsman. Yes, sir. I am only up to that extent mm. where a withdrawal is made, and the deposit from which the withdrawal is being made is an ordinary savings account or ordinary account. Again, I qualify my answer, yes. uh, Justice Cuevas. If you withdraw it, you want cash, you have this withdrawal slip. Or if you don't uh, need the withdrawal slip, you go to the ATM and just so, pin and pin and pin and then you'll get a receipt. Now, oh, are you coaching him? He is assisting, mm -hmm. Your Honor. Mm -hmm. yes. In much the respect of whether you are a witness or you are a lawyer, uh, <clears throat> that should apply to all no. participants in this drama. No. Okay. Yes. I understand that yes. even in ordinary cases, a passbook mm -hmm. is required. Yes. Uh, you say it's no longer practice? I, I don't think... Uh, Lately, that has been the practice, well, unless you have, probably I'm speaking, you ask for a particular passbook. I'm speaking from experience because there are, they say, uh, passbook issued by China Bank, passbook mm -hmm. issued yes. by 
Yes. And before you can withdraw and deposit, the passport must be presented. No, not, uh, not, uh, not with respect to Bank of uh, Philippine Islands. If yes, you withdraw, you just uh, fill up a deposit slip and they, they keep the deposit. No, no, the withdrawal slip, they keep it. They record it in there. It's all uh, computerized now, mm -hmm. Justice Cuevas. Now you have all right, assuming that we are still in that practice of uh, having this passbook, what is your question, Your Honor? <laughs> Would you like me to be on the witness stand? No. And I said, <laughs> that does not <laughs> prevent me from seeking clarification from you. Yeah, but you are not clarifying. You are asking me a question. No, because you, uh, you prefaced your question about this passbook thing. Yes. And so I said... Uh, if it, I, I want a clarification. If Your Honor, please, there is no pending question. Uh, actually, the Ombudsman had already answered. Actually, uh, the Ombudsman said she does not know whether the accounts were current accounts, savings accounts, or whatever kind of account. Yes, we have discussed that. The fact is that there is a bank account. Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, now, and uh, transactions happen in the course of time in the in connection with that uh, uh, bank account. Now, may I now go to another subject, Your Honor? Go ahead. Again, in another page of this uh, account, 8104, year 2007, there are various account numbers. Will you kindly go over them? Uh, are we looking at the same page, uh, Your Honor? Yes, this is account. This is an exhibit uh, for the defense, for the prosecution. Okay, account number eight one zero four, two thousand seven. Yes. Now, would you be kind enough to tell us the nature of this account mentioned? Okay. Well, you are not also in a position to inform us about the nature of this account. I would not be able. Thank you. If your honour, please. Answer the red. If your honour, please. Yes. Mr. Justice Cuevas. You're asking questions about account number 8104. Are you admitting that these are the accounts of the Chief Justice? Are you, are you cross-examining me? No, because, because if you're not admitting that, there's no this need is, to cross-examine. This is entirely out of order, Your Honor, unless you're the presiding judge, Your Honor, or a yeah, member yeah. of the Senate committee. Uh, will you kindly address the yes. chair before you... Let's yes, be procedural and more, uh, more cautious, Your Honor. The, uh, the gentle... Counsel for the prosecution, allow the uh, defense counsel to conduct the cross-examination. You have any objection? Raise an objection, but do not posit a question to him. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. So ordered. I'm sorry, Your Honor. All right. I think we better uh, uh, conduct this hearing in an orderly fashion. We are both all lawyers, and we know the rules. You, if you have any objection, raise an objection, state the reason for your objection, so that this chair can rule to allow or not to allow an answer. All right. Counsel your Honor, please. Your defense, proceed. May proceed, Your Honor. Your yes. Honor, please. I respectfully object to the questions raised by the defense. Why? On the ground of irrelevance, because there has been no admission nor proof that the Chief Justice is admitting these to be his accounts. <laughs> you mean I have, there is no there is no question I, there is no pending wait, question wait, anymore. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, what? You, there is no pending question. Quest Admission, Your Honor, on the part of the Chief Justice. Yes. But uh, the ombudsman was presented by the defense to testify here, and the ombudsman said that. Uh, she received a, re a report from AMLA to the effect that there is a ba bank deposit account bearing the name of Renato Corona and there were transactions in connection with it. Are you denying that? No, Your Honor. But well, they, have, they are the ones denying that. But what is that. the materiality of that question that you're raising? We submit, Your Honor. No, what is the materiality? We withdraw the objection, Your Honor. You're making, you're confusing the issues here. I think uh, we, we better not do any misleading effort here, no? Because we are quite alert uh, in this court, no? Proceed, counsel, for the defense. With the kind permission of the Honorable Court. Again, may I be permitted 
Madam Ombudsman, to kindly direct your attention to what appears in this power presentation. What page of the power presentation of your It is there, Your Honor, I'm referring to that uh, portion London account 8104-207. I suppose that the account, that the number there mentioned is the account number, and the and 207 is the year. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, my question to you is. That is account number 8104-207. Correct, Your Honor. All right. Now, my question to you now is, will you be kind enough to tell this honorable court the nature of the account, namely account number 2804, 2693-2405, 4351-7659, 3351-7659, 3398-2812, 2887-3479, and 2987. That's the question. Would you be no, your to? answer. No, your honor. You are not. You are not familiar with these uh, numbers as numbers of a bank account. They are supposed to be bank accounts. Yes, but uh, what but I mean, whether well, they are current savings, I wouldn't know. It's not indicated in the data from which I gathered. Oh, thank you, my thank analysis. you, thank you, Madam. <clears throat> now. May I know from you how these documents appearing in this uh, presentation, power presentation, made power presentation has been made and who, who authored the same? We, Your office? My office with the assistance of uh, the COA. Uh -huh. I asked them to visualize it because it would be easier to understand. Oh. In other words, you, so, you, you are not personally involved in this. I was personally involved. What, may we know But the in the drawing of this, or the, the uh, how do you call it? What, what's the term? In the putting of the arrows and the what look like balloons, uh, they were the ones who pinned it. Yes, the all right. Thank you, Your Honor. May we, may we be informed as to the extent and nature of your participation? Is it supervisory or actual? Actual supervision, supervision and control. In what sense was that actual supervision made? They Did were, you kindly let us know? They, they were personally present in the office. So we went from one entry to another. All right. And after that was done, they had to tell me that it is now reflected as you wish in this and that and that. All right. And in so far as your office is concerned, where did these matters appearing in this account number 8104207 came from? They were lifted from the entries given by the unlock. I see. And these entries that uh, you mentioned a while ago, they were not, they, were they presented to you very formally by the unlock? It was forwarded to me by the unlock. So it was not filed with your office very formally with an attachment? Because it is strictly confidential, it was personally delivered to me. By whom? By Mr. Vic Aquino. All right. I noticed yesterday that you, are, you have a hard time reading the entries there in appearance. That's right, because they're and so minute. We, thus giving me the impression that that appears to be the first time you have gone over these documents. No, Your Honor, as you, you will note in the copy I had, I had my annotations, so you I had my markings, mm -hmm. and that's why there, I asked the permission of the Senate if they could photocopy the uh, clean uh, copy of this uh, document. That, that is the farthest you have gone. What in so mean? far as supervision or the preparation of this PowerPoint farthest presentation. I have done by? I have asked you a very definite question. What is the purpose of this line of questioning, a counsel? Are you impeaching your uh, witness, impugning his, uh, her competence? If you run her, please, the court allowed us to introduce her as a hostile witness. Yes. Son. And being allowed to do so. You can cross examine? I, yes. know, I know the rules. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. That is our purpose. It's in front of me. Yes, Your Honor. That is the purpose, Your Honor. We are trying to determine 
the veracity and the accuracy. Yeah, the, uh, uh, testing the credibility of the witness. The by way of impeachment, Your Honor. All right. Go Thank on, you, Your Honor. Proceed. Now, when you went over this uh, tabulation furnished you by the AMLA people, you did not have a talk with any one of them. With any of the AMLA people? AMLA people? No. None. In other words, it was just given to you. Yes. There is no covering letter. There and was. you assume that this was the there document. Was. There was. There was? Ah, I see. May we, may we be sure. allowed to go over the Can we have covering, covering letter? letter? The letter of uh, the AMLAC when they transmitted the document to me. March 9, 2012 letter. We have here the covering letter. Sure. Going over this letter, it, it states, we are furnishing you with the attached information for intelligent purposes only in connection with the investigation of the above-mentioned complaint. Did you notice that? Yes, I know that. All right. Will you kindly enlighten us as to the scope of what is meant, if you know, yes. of the intelligence purpose, of the mention in here of intelligence purposes only? Let me see the letter, Chief. <clears throat> when it says it's strictly confidential, it says they attach information for intelligence purposes only in connection with the investigation of the above captioned complaints. Meaning, Subject, meaning information. Information, yes, furnishing you the attached information for intelligence purposes only in connection with the investigation of the attached mentioned complaint. The mentioned complaint was Risa Ontiveros et al. versus Chief Justice Renato yeah. Sicorona. In other may I continue now, Your Honor? Sure. Go All right. Go ahead. In other words, you're, under, you're doing a cross examination. Do yes. not uh, keep asking uh, yes, Your Honor, from the chair. I was thinking that the chair may have a no, question. No, no, That's no, no, why. no, go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. In other words, it is definite and specific that this information being relayed to you yes. was pursuant to this alleged complaint of Risa Ontiveros, of Risa Ontiveros et al. against yes. Chief Justice Corona. Yes, sir. Mentioned is made in here of an investigation. Is this investigation merely administrative or uh, preliminary? Fact-finding fact -finding investigation oh. so that or is, case build-up. That is strictly confidential. Yes, Your Honor. And it ought not to be known by anybody else outside of those connected officially with it. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Meaning only by people within your office are privileged to know this uh, investigation? Not all uh, members of my staff knew about it. Yeah, but those who should know about this are only those working with you in connection with this complaint. Yes, but as, uh, I qualify that because I had difficulty analyzing the data. I had to engage the assistance of uh, other government agencies. Yeah, but my question to you is the extent and scope of the confidentiality mentioned yes. in here refers to the fact that it should be known only to the members of your staff. Who, or were, office. who were assisting me in the investigation of this case. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, if I go back to your letter to the Chief Justice mm -hmm. asking him to answer the alleged charges in there, you mentioned about serious misconduct in office. Kindly go over the copy if you have it. <clears throat> 
I'm going over it right now. Oh, thank you. Justice. Thank you. What's the question? I am referring, Your Honor, to a portion of the letter addressed by the Honorable Ombudsman to Chief Justice Corona, Your Honor. And, and I am, may, I, may I refer the, the Honorable Ombudsman to this particular portion? Proceed. While you may only be removed from office through impeachment proceedings, this office has, as reflected earlier, the power and duty to investigate you for any serious misconduct in office for the purpose of filing a verified complaint for impeachment if warranted. It was on this account that this office conducted an initial evaluation on the complaint. My question to you is, what meaning should be attached to this statement of yours regarding the alleged commission of serious misconduct? Any conduct that is intentionally done, which is not just, which is not proper, which is in violation of law, that to me encompasses the phrase serious misconduct. In this connection, may I read to you a portion of the decision in several cases, mm -hmm. more particularly in the case of Salcedo versus in Inting, ruled by the Honorable Supreme Court, wherein it stated, the misconduct must also have a direct relation to and be connected with the performance of official duties. Yes, sir. In other words, it is not any misfeasance or malfeasance, but it is an act violative of the rules and the law in connection with the performance of official duty. Now, the addressee here is Chief Justice Corona. Will you be kind enough to let this honorable court, what is the scope of that serious misconduct you are referring to in this letter? It encompasses anything that violates the law. In this case, he is charged to have accumulated wealth that is purportedly, grossly, disproportionate to his income. I thought... But I'll not take issue with, the, with you there because mm. the, law, the, the, the jurisprudence on the point we have placed on record, Your Honor, already. Mm. Now, mm. when you were furnished mm. with this report of the AMLA pursuant to your request, yes. I hope you went over the same. And as you said many times. Yes, sir. All right. Now, could you now affirm on the road that the contents of the said report are accurate, correct, and in accordance with law? Whether or not the report? contents of that report is accurate, correct, or in accordance with law, I would not have any way of knowing. I see. So that is because that was Because that was furnished to me yeah. by the AMLA. So you, that is beyond your comprehension. What do you mean beyond my comprehension? I don't understand it. Yes. Beyond my competence, yes, but not beyond my comprehension. Well, how did you understood the figures mentioned in there? Were they accurate? Were they correct? Well, uh, the presumption is that since I was given this document, the presumption is that these are documents correctly reflected in the data of the AMLAC. What verification did you undertake if you did in connection with the accuracy of the figures that are stated. I could not go directly to the bank to verify whether the data entered here are correct or How not. How about any of your people or person under you, Madam, Madam Ombudsman? None conducted any inquiry? From the bank? Yes. No. There were no inquiries as to whether these alleged withdrawals are covered by any withdrawal slip? No. The deposit that you mentioned he could not, or was not ascertained as to whether there were deposit slips covering the same? No. On the dates mentioned therein? No. All right. So, 